you know, there's so much urgency you can create at the end. If discounting is your only strategy, then you're in trouble. <laughs> it's not a great sign if your your one go to is is discounting. But it can it can really matter. And you know, I think back to one of the first big deals that I did at Twilio, and it was with a major U.S. airline, and it was one of our first kind of Fortune 500 deals. And we got uh, close to the end of this deal, and we had pitched to them a product that was really like a bundle of features that hadn't existed before and didn't have a price on it. But we bundled it up and we said, okay, it's $15,000 a month, like random made up number. <laughs> like we just were sort of like, we know you need all this stuff. These are enterprise features. It's 15 grand a month. And in the end, we pushed them to get the deal done at the end of Q4, literally on December 31st. And we ended up offering them a discount on that $15,000 a month bundle. And we we gave them like, you know, a 15% discount. And in the end, that discount pushed the deal over the edge and procurement got it done at like 4 p.m. on December 31st. Like, it's free money. That package didn't even exist before. And if you can do discounting that way, it can be really powerful. But you've got to understand there's so many other levers to create urgency. And, you know, you, there it's terms, it's pricing, but it's also like the risk and attention of not getting it done.